Hi, in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at some highlights in this new UFT1 release. First, let's see what's new in AI-based testing. You can now use regular expressions to describe text for AI-based object identification. Instead of using exact text, you can provide a pattern that the object's text should match. You can retrieve properties such as height, width, value, and hint from the AI object in your application. Use the get object property and get all properties methods to retrieve the values. Then check the values to validate your object's location and content. When recording AI-based steps or adding them during inspection, additional operations are now available for you to select. For example, double click, long click, and set text. Configure UFT1 to use the AI Object Detection Cloud service to perform AI-based testing. This reduces the use of local resources, speeds up test execution, and ensures that you are always using the latest AI model. UFT1's integration with Digital Lab now lets you run your tests on cloud browsers provided by Digital Lab. You no longer need to install, maintain, or update your test environment browsers or browser extensions. Next, let's look at some UFT1 core feature enhancements. You can now test Windows Forms applications built with .NET 5 or 6. When running API tests, UFT1 now supports testing communications with Kafka servers that use Kerberos for authentication. When working with SAP GUI for Windows or SAP NWBC applications, you can now test Edge or Chromium embedded browser controls. New versions of the CI-CD integration plugins are available for Azure DevOps Jenkins, and Bamboo. In Azure DevOps, you can now do the following. Stop an entire run of local tests as soon as one test fails. Customize the format of the timestamp used in the extension reports. And use access key authentication to connect to Digital Lab when running tests in parallel. The new version of the Jenkins plugin has the following updates. You have better control over sensitive data. You can transfer parameters from one test to another in a test batch. And you can run tests as a different Windows user, not just the one that's currently logged in. This UFD1 release supports new versions of Chrome, Chromium Edge, and Firefox, new Autopass license server versions, and new Windows updates. It also adds support for many new technology versions, including Microsoft's programs, Bamboo servers, Java, SAP, and more. For more new features, check out the Help Center. Enjoy the new UFT1 release.